Good evening, and welcome to Roll Dive for Adventure, a D&D podcast where four, five, sometimes six friends get together to play Dungeons & Dragons. We are still on the first dungeon of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, get close to the end of the first ma- uh, first dungeon. There are 22 more to go. I'm Nick, I'm your dungeon master, and I'm joined by... Arn, who would like to remind everybody that we've voluntarily remained on level one. <laughs> <laughs> Jason playing Health Kirk, and I'd like to remind everybody that we actually made some headway uh, in the last episode. Did Shannon you? playing Shadow, and I just want to remind everyone that we did get to level two and leveled up and came back. <laughs> That's right. You guys found level two, chickened out, and went back. Not exactly how I remember it, but <laughs> now I would like to talk a little more about. Um, a way that we can move through the dungeon faster and make it more entertaining, like we were talking about last time. And um, I think a kill competition, right? Mm -hmm. And every two episodes, like, people who aren't familiar with how we record this, I mean, we record two episodes on a night, right? And uh, you can edit that out if you don't want people, if that's a state secret or something like that. I don't think it's a secret. It's a secret. Don't tell it. So I mean, like, so maybe like at the end of the uh, the second session can be our camp time. Like we'll camp pretty much unless it's a total cliffhanger. But we could be like whoever has the uh, most kills for that for those sessions gets to be the group leader for the next night. Ooh. Okay, Mister Fireball. <laughs> not, not like make- I was thinking more along the lines of the whoever had the most fails like in their checks. <laughs> I win. Well, yeah, but that won't that won't <laughs> speed things along. Right. I'm up for whatever. I'm just here for the laughs. <laughs> just here for the lulls. Oh, the lulls, the raffle copters. <laughs> no, that sounds fine. If you guys want to do a kill competition, I can throw more things at you. There's going to be a lot more stuff coming at you later on. I want to work on this puzzle. I mean, stand there and watch the boys do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are in a room. Do we want to recap by 20 room. everything? No, it's okay. Nobody <laughs> listens to this anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead. Um, what did we do? Anybody remember? Like, whole ten minutes ago what we did? Uh, Heinrich found some shit. He wanted to loot everything by himself. He got a belt. Um, we lifted the velvet seat on the bone throne. Nothing in there. Heinrich started running around like a crazy person ahead of us. Uh, we found some vampires. They ran off into the next room. We killed the five of them. Dead guy was swarmed by a pack of flesh-eating spiders. And now the room we're current... Nope, we found the trophy room of skulls. Yeah, I was just going to say the magically expanded room of, room of skulls. I was going to set it on fire and some spirit said, don't do that. Bad idea. Um, so now we're at the end of the hall in the secret room where there's a magic ceiling, a green throne with a helmet on it. And that's about it. Um, Jason rolled to check the throne, and we just fucking ignored him, so maybe we should start there. <laughs> What's different about that? Uh, true. Okay. <laughs> so, Love you too, Nick. Jason. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> My We've roll was a 28. 28? And you were looking at the, the seat? The throne. Or the throne. The throne is, from what you can see, is just a green copper throne. Hey, Heinrich, there's nothing, nothing here. Nothing special about it. <laughs> well, fuck. Zombies sit so in the are, throne. Are there holes or, holes or anything in the ceiling? I push a zombie into the throne. Rob, 
Rob Zombie. Okay. Rob's cool. I like the vampire lady. <laughs> Haria? Yep. Haria. Okay, so you got Rob and Haria, which starts with an H. Oh, yeah. I thought you said Aria <laughs> with an A. Okay. So, um, Arn, so there, there's no holes in the ceiling. It's just concrete blocks. The Haria zombie falls in the seat. No, I pushed Rob. Rob? <laughs> Rob wants to sit down. <laughs> Rob cannot sit down. I pushed him. He's stronger than you. Nope. Okay, you guys, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't notice. You're flying up towards the ceiling. Can I push Aria into the seat? On Rob? Where do you get this Aria? Ar- she has no name. Aria. The, the, the <laughs> fake vampire dude said her name. Yep. You can try it. Well, she's not a person anymore. <laughs> Come here, well, lady. Sit on my lap. You can have a seat. I'm giving you permission. You don't have to listen to the, the, the guy that's flying around up there. So, one of them sits on a seat. Nothing happens. I'm going to command both of my zombies to go back to room 10. Or to be in front of the door to room 10. Okay. Zombies I... take walk together. I zombies sit... fall in love. Okay, I'm going to do something dangerous. Ready? Oh, God. She's going to roll a dice. (laughs) I'm going to sit in the throne with the helmet on my head. And as soon as you do that, uh, a compartment in the ceiling opens up. And this long tube that looks like a vacuum tube for the bank falls out of the ceiling. And I'll catch it since I'm all the way up at the ceiling. Okay. And it looks like a cylinder, and there's something inside of it. I continue sitting in the throne like I'm hot shit. Now, did the brooks actually I'll fall empty down the or cylinder into my up? hand? And a wand falls out of the cylinder. I'll catch the wand and drop the cylinder onto the floor. Okay. <laughs> cylinder breaks. And now you have a wand. Good, we'll figure it out in a little while. <laughs> I put the I'm going to... helmet back in my bag. You now have a sweet, sweet Mandalorian-looking helmet. Nice. You wonder, what is a Mandalorian helmet doing in a dungeon on the, the galaxy, sea far, far, coast? Uh, a galaxy uh, in a time far, far away. Once we rest, we're going to analyze or whatever everything, right? Yep. Okay. Works for me. All right, me and the zombies are going to head back towards 9A. So everybody's going along with them? Yep. Okay. You are back in the hallway with the six pillars that had the holes for the old or for the the gems that are missing, and there's a hallway that extends all the way to the east, and one that goes towards the north. I'm going to head north. Okay. Shadow, should we let him go by himself? Zombies on either flank of me. I follow. This room is empty. I'm going to search it. I'm going to have the two zombies stand at the entrance to the room. Okay. Yeah, um, give me a uh, investigate or perception check. 15 for perception. There is nothing in this room. There is a door going north, and that is about it. I'll call the zombies over to the door that goes north. Okay. And I'll start heading north. Okay. So I this... Fall behind. This ru- this corridor keeps going, and then you run into a hall filled with 
life-size statues of human warriors facing inward. They're on top of pedestals that run through the hallway. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. There is halfway up, there is a doorway that leads to the west. We're in the doorway. The further you go in, the more cobwebs seem to be appearing above these statues. What what about this door to the doorway to the west? Is there an actual physical door there, or is it just a? It is a hallway. Doorway? Let's head west. We'll head west. I'll have the uh, zombies start walking, um, ten feet in front of me, so that they can walk through all the cobwebs. <laughs> Hell, fifteen feet in front of me. You walk into this room, right? And, well, this hallway, and at the end of it, there is a doorway that leads to the south. It's an open doorway? Yep. We'll head south. And the statues Still didn't move? Still following the zombies by 15 feet. Statues did not move. So there is a door in front of you. It looks to be made out of stone. We'll have a zombie take place on either side of the doorway. Okay. And uh, I'll stand off to one side of the doorway and motion for the cat. You want me to check for traps? I'm going to, to answer her question, I'm going to flick a match head at her right between the eyes. Sorry, I was looking for something. <laughs> so, that would be 25. Woo! Plus three. Oh, okay. Well, then 27. Because I already added the a uh, one in. <laughs> There's no traps, and this door is not locked. Go on in. <laughs> Once you're inside, a giant floating eye is sort of transparent, floating in the middle of this 20 by 20 room. It is three-dimensional, and it is staring at you. Occasionally, it blinks. How it blinks? No idea. It's not like a beholder eye. It's just an eye. It's just a giant eye. Sauron? Pretty close. <laughs> Alistair. Does it respond to that? If you could read the emotions of just a floating eyeball, you would think it's inquisitive. Is it like a hologram or is it actually there like can we touch it uh you try to touch it and your hand goes through it so i'm gonna point two fingers at it and be like pervert and on that it blinks out of existence <laughs> way, to go, way to go you pissed it off. <laughs> that's generally how anything reacts to me is there anything else in this room no, not that you can see. It's an empty room, then? Yep. No other door. Well, that's weird. Why would there just be a weird room with an eye? Because the guy who created this thing is mad. That's a good answer. All right, let's go backwards <laughs> until <laughs> he wanted... we head towards a direction we haven't he been. He wanted to entertain himself with people going into a dead end. <laughs> Okay, so you guys come back out of 9B and you see an identical hallway filled with life-size granite statues of human warriors facing inward, stand atop two rows of pedestals that run through the hall. Can we examine the statues? Yep. They are granite life-size humanoids. That's it? That's it. Be very careful, guys. I wouldn't take anything for granted in this room. <laughs> oh, you're a dad now, so you got the dad jokes. <laughs> Continue <laughs> on. Halfway down, you come across a room that heads to the south, or a hallway that heads to the south. Isn't that where we came in? Ouch. No, a second, <laughs> a second one that goes to the south. <laughs> Your other south. No comment. 
Jesus Christ, I'm so confused. Where was the eye? We're, we're, we're standing. We're going. You guys, the eye was. You guys went up, up 9B. Okay. Um, we're basically at the intersection going to 13. Yep. Okay. Number 13. I'm a lady. I have lady directions. So, me and the zombies will start walking down to 13. Zombies first. You guys come toward to a a door. It's made out of rock. It looks familiar. Does it happen to have that telltale uh, secret little compartment button thing where the, uh, the the past two have been? Nope. Want to investigate the rock door? Twelve. <laughs> okay, it is not trapped, and it is not locked. So you think. Open the door? And as you step inside this door, you see a giant eyeball floating in the middle of this room. It's three-dimensional. It has a front and back, and it's blinking occasionally. I moon it. <laughs> I told you, nobody wants to see a starfish. <laughs> And it tilts to one side and disappears. The way to go. Okay, well, next time I'll, I'll inform him I tried to set his skulls on fire. We'll make our way back up to 12. You are back in the hallway filled with granite statues, and you're walking a little bit more to the east, and you come across a doorway heading towards the north, and you can make out another door about 15 to 20 feet ahead of you, heading towards the south. And a couple doors are heading towards the east. Let's go to the doorway to the north. Yep. I'll have zombies flank it, and I will uh, flick a match head into the cat's ear. I howl. Giving her three extra points. Okay. 18. It gives you a little bit of trouble, but it is actually unlocked. Not trapped? Not trapped. I go in first. <laughs> okay, so you that come into a room that is 15 by 10. It is made out of polished granite, and it is heading towards the north is another doorway or another hallway. The polished granite room has nothing? There's nothing in here. Let's investigate to make sure. 23. Nope, there's nothing in here. <laughs> That's why I rolled a 23. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Continue north. Okay. You are starting to walk, and you, you feel that the room is starting to, or the, the floor is starting to descend. A little bit, you can feel that you're walking down. Are we you come in level two? Well, maybe. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so when you walk into this room, you you come into a fifteen Let's by fifteen inch or fifteen by fifteen foot room. That, if you look up, the room's domed ceiling is fifteen feet high at the edges and thirty feet high in the middle. The dome is filled with sizzling acid that defies gravity as it floats 15 feet above the air, or 15 feet above the floor. There is a statue also in this room. It's eight feet tall, Scary has four shit. armed. It's a four armed fish monster with stands in the middle of the room facing north. Its webbed hands clutch an ornate one foot square stone box with a lid and a keyhole. Here's the deal. One, two, three, <laughs> not it! Who has telekinesis? Nope. <laughs> I could try to stealth to the statue. You could bring me back to life, right? <laughs> As a zombie. Righty. <laughs> See if I got, like, mage hand or something. I don't think they're clerics. Uh, I don't know. I'm 
actually, I think I have Mage Hand as a a. I might have Mage Hand. I have Unseen Servant as a ritual spell. Let's see. Is there any where to, to hide under the statue? Is it the fun acid or the kill you acid? <laughs> Don't do it. A little bit of both. Is there anywhere to like hide under the statue if you were to run and like duck? No. Maybe between its legs, but that's about it. So this this is 14B. Yep. Right. And the the acid just covers that like uh, what 30 by 30 room. Okay, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna stand. I'm gonna go to the upper north. Uh, eastern part of that hallway and then i'm gonna create i'm gonna take i'm gonna create an unseen servant uh which makes a uh an invisible mindless shapeless force that can perform simple tasks um let's see it has ac 10 one hit point a strength of two it can't attack if it drops zero hit point the spell ends um, you can mentally command the servant to move up to 15 feet and interact with an object. The servant can perform simple tasks that a human servant couldn't do. Um, command uh, can't be more than 60 feet away from you. So, And I'm going to yep. have this unseen servant go into 14B. And uh, So there's a statue that's holding this chest, okay. right? And I'm going to have it get me the chest. As you open or grab the chest out of the water demon's hand it changes from stone into flesh and now you are dealing with I never went yeah. in the room when I, I saw the acid <laughs> I didn't go where are you guys standing I assume that you got out of the room too you are now standing face to face okay. with a large four-armed Sahagan baron Tahagen Baron. S A H U A G I N. Nope, nope, nope. I want a picture, not the stats, you fucker. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> yeah, you see that the, the so chest the like floating right back three the, feet uh, off the ground coming to you. The chest sucks. I bow at the waist and apologize. <laughs> My box! And he runs at you and give me initiative checks. <laughs> oh, nope. good lord. 13. That was better for me. I... <laughs> if you say. Shadow, how much did you get? Oh, 18. 13. Lucky number 13. 13. Heinrich, yeah, 18. 13. And how it? last again. <laughs> no, you're not. You're going to last in the party, but you're not going last last. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I rolled a one. So I'm doing as oh, good as yeah. Shannon okay, does. Okay, yeah. So. I, I rolled a four, so... <laughs> Yeah, so he got a three, so that's great. Okay. Hi, Nick. All right. So, is this as the creature, like, comes into that hallway that we see him? So it's, like, 20 feet away from me or so? You are... This room's not very big. So he's in the middle of it. But, so, if you... So this is where I was picturing myself standing, right? So room 14B, right? Uh huh. And then you move all the way to the left to right. the corner. Uh huh. And then I move all the way north. Oh to yeah. The next corner. That'd be 20 feet. And that's where I was at. Yeah. So then, um, I was trying to read the the 20 foot radius. Fireball is not going to work. I am going to. Is he surrounded by water or anything? Like a... No. I don't know, an aura of water? Nope. 
Um, well, I guess I will start with burning hands out of my staff. Yeah, so uh, dexterity save. Uh, 15. A fail for 4, 9, 11 points of fire damage. I'm going to use a bonus action to command the two zombies to roll up and start attack him. Ooh. So the two zombies will enter melee combat with him. Um, the first one rolls a 14 to hit. Nope. And the second one oh, rolls a 22 to hit. Oh, yeah. Four, seven damage at max. Oh. Okay. It's me. All right, Shadow. All right. We'll do my um, Sunblade with the Radiant Damage for a 28. Yo, yeah. That is 15 plus another 6, so 21 radiant damage. <laughs> I'm going to do the sunblade again for a 15. To hit? Nope. Okay, then I got my sneak attack. 1d6. <clears throat> That's another 2. <laughs> With my sentinel, if He's in my range and attacks someone else. I get to attack him again. Okay. Well, let's see what Halith Gark has on him. Yeah. Please get. Let me get a uh, a crit so I can use the Vorpal. <laughs> Almost. Let's see. That's a uh, twenty-four to hit. Yup. Ten points of damage. And a crit. What? Oh. <laughs> Natural crit. No <laughs> way. I don't believe it. Are you happy I got him out of the hole now? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Crit. That's going to be one for you. That is amazing. And as soon as that sword goes through the Sahagan's throat, it turns back into a decapitated sculpture. Are you kidding me? He looked a lot scarier than that. <laughs> That's I will the power open my of a box weapon right there. There's a keyhole on the box. Do you have the key? Oh no! Damn it! Can I try to Here. lock pick it? Sure. Get out of the way. Twenty four. Twenty four. Oh, As match you head. Dick. Hold on, I'm flicking her. I'm flicking her. <laughs> no. For four more points. 28. As You've been you flicked. put the lockpick into this box, the magic that was holding the acid above you ah! gives out, and everybody takes. Now, we're not in the room. The ones that are in the room. Who's in the room? I Did assume... you guys leave the room? I no, I didn't. I was fighting the dude, so we made the guy come to us. Well, I'm wherever Heinrich is because I I playing with his box. Did so you guys we not enter the room? Box out. Right. We're meleeing him in the very right. bottom okay. corner of that hallway. So you are lucky that you guys did not enter this room because each one of you would have taken at least eleven damage from the acid. Out. I'm not. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm just saying, Shit. logistically, I was wherever Heinrich is. <laughs> Do I successfully open the box? No. You might have come across the key in your adventure so far. Does anybody have a key written down? Everybody got a key. I don't believe so. Hold on. I don't. Control F key. 
Nope, not in my notes. <laughs> fresco. A giant bat terrorite. Oh, that's a fresco. A tapestry of a fresco. Tapestry. Uh, okay. So, do you guys remember that you guys found the thing on the wall that was the trolls in the or the the gnomes in the under underdark or whatever it was that sculpture on the wall that you were told that the keys are in that sculpture is that the is that was the room the where they had the bed rolls was it the dwarves it's the the room that had the the bandits in it it also had the bed rolls okay this was a long time ago. This was 6C. Oh, we got 12 empty bedrolls. Walls are frescoes depicting 12 villagers and farmers being terrorized by a giant bat. That one? Nope. Oh. Oh, that that's 7B, I think. 6C that was 7, was, yeah. 6C was the first fake vampires. Yep. They were playing poker. So that was your room. And there was that tiefling that told him that the key to his heart or whatever it was. Yeah, he didn't relay that message to us and we never searched anything. (laughs) Because I remember being like, what's he saying? Oh, he never told us. (laughs) Wait, wait, who never told you? You Well, I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Well, neither do I because I don't know you have that that conversation. That sounds about right. So, so I have the key? Nobody. No, you never search for it. You never search oh, for it. Oh, okay. Because teamwork. <laughs> All right. So I'm taking it that we cannot walk on this acid without being hurt. No way. We're going to open this goddamn box. The box is open. Well, what's in it? He said nothing. Well, what do we need the key for? No, I never. I never. You said you couldn't open it. Oh, it has to be the key. I can't lockpick it. Nope. I misunderstood. So, forget everything I said about where that key is. (laughs) Perhaps we can take it back, and I don't have open lock. All right. So, give me a. Just give me a thieves tool skill. That's what the 28 was. All right, so (laughs) I'm going to let you have this. He's like, just shut the fuck up. Move on. (laughs) Okay. The box's interior is lined with thin sheets of lead to thwart certain forms of divination magic, including the detect magic spell. Inside the box is a dry, withered heart of a tiefling wizard. Could that be a, uh, a, phylactery, a phylactery for a lick? Hmm. Maybe. It does... Uh, you're using Detect Magic, I guess? So it does have an aura of necromancy around it. Mm, we we want to hold on to this. I said I do have the Arcana. Uh, yeah. As I stare at it, I start salivating. Oh, it, gross! It looks like beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, close the lid on the box right in front of her face, like in Pretty Woman. <laughs> 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 Did I do that right? <laughs> None for you. Do you guys want to identify the stuff that you got? Take a rest here? Yeah. This looks like a good room to rest. It's covered in so, acid. Are we okay? Not this room, but maybe 14A. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if we, I mean, uh, can we walk we can, on this acid? Some of us can fly over the acid. Oh, hey, I want to use my wing boots and examine the room. <laughs> I'm too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> 18. Oh my god, I rolled a 1 and a 2 because <laughs> I have advantage. 
Um, I got a 10. <laughs> there is, you guys see that there is a secret compartment hidden towards the western or eastern wall. Secret? It's just a compartment? Yep. Sh I'm going to check it for traps to be safe. No traps. I'm going to toss a stick at her. I what's in the <laughs> what's in the compartment? Nothing. Okay, well, fuck There's you. There's nothing Let's in there. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in the plain granite room and rest and identify. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you leave something in there? Why don't you leave a big steaming cat shit in that box and then close it back up? Uh, to really tell that guy, Hozul or whatever his name is, fuck you. Alistair. In the most cat way possible. Well, I would leave a hairball, but, you know, the guy in the market <laughs> sold it for a lot of money. <laughs> True. I peel my nails off and put those into the <laughs> empty compartment. Okay, gross. They do that. Now my nails <laughs> are sharper. So you guys set up camp. I guess the two zombies are going to be taking watch then. <laughs> zombies to take Can we watch. trust them? Well, yeah, if I cast my spell on them. If I cast a spell, they're probably not the most good. They they're not good for that kind of stuff. But I can uh, cast um, Leoman's shelter in the room. Well, I don't need to rest. I just want to identify shit we got, so I can take watch. Leoman's tiny hut. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's do a rest. Okay. And uh, the stuff we got, we've got a mundane helmet. Yep. We got a mystery bag from 8B. Okay. What's in that? Let's see. I didn't even look at it. All right. So inside this, you find an amulet of proof against detection and location. That would be useful if we all had one. Well, you can run like you always do. <laughs> All right. Uh, we had two trinkets from 8B. Okay. Inside is a brooch of shielding and a couple small bags, and inside those bags are two beans apiece. That's lame. Four beans? Yep. There's a belt? A belt of giant strength. Um, nine eight. a scimitar, a light crossbow, a money pouch. We did the money pouch. Yep. Um, so a scimitar, like crossbow, and leather armor. If they're magic, or I'll identify if they are magic. Okay. The scimitar is magic. It is a flame tongue. Nice. You got rid of your frost brand. And I think you only have one more thing, right? Uh, what about the. The leather armor wasn't uh, magic? Plus one. Oh, okay. I got that green one. helmet. That was from the secret room 11. You've never put it on, have you? No, I put it on to sit in the yeah. throne, Oh, you did, right. And then okay. I said I took it off. And you didn't say anything. <laughs> it doesn't come off. Fuck you. Just, just kidding. <laughs> You have found a helm of teleportation. I'm keeping that shit. And she's not going to tell anybody about it either. So she just starts disappearing. The wand for... The wand is a wand of secrets. Sounds like some Harry Potter shit. Could be. Alright, so the shielding isn't all that valuable. Where'd that go? Uh, the belt of giant strength. Uh, what level of giant strength belt? Oh, you guys still there? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we'll figure that out, but we need to for a while. We need to get off of this thing before it dies on us. So I'll tell you what it is after this. So, well, we'll talk to you guys next week. We're going to leave it there. We'll talk to you next week. It's been Nick. Arn. Jason. Shannon. And see you guys. Bye. 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 La Vista. Baby. (laughs) (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.